Hello Lions and welcome back to episode 2 of Inside the Pride. I'm Rachel Satterley and this is my co-host Jackson Glover and we're going to be giving you a recap of last week's event in Free Hardman Athletics. Women's soccer was at Blue Mountain Christian where they lost 0-2. to It was the last match of the, on the road and they had 6 total shots. Men's soccer was also at Blue Mountain where they lost 1-2 to and had 11 total shots and a goal by Ian Methus. On Thursday, August 31st, the men's soccer team traveled to St. Louis, Missouri to take on a match against UHSP where they tied 4-4. Freshman A.B. Flanner had his first career hat trick and Thawa Mahala also scored a goal for the Lions. The women's golf team traveled to Centerville, Tennessee to compete in the Riley Moore Collegiate Cup where they placed second of four teams. And freshman Ansley Pratt took home bronze and finished first for the Lady Lions with a score of 5 over and 77. On Friday, the first, the volleyball kicked off their uh, FHU Labor Day Classic versus Tougaloo where they won 3 to 0. Annalise Jackson, Avery Harris, and Alanis Ruiz were there, all led with six kills. And Macy Kate Adams led FHU with 15 assists. They also played Fisk that night where they won 3 to 0 also. And Kat Hackett led with 10 kills. And Macy Kate Adams again led FHU with 19 assists. Carly Fulton also had 23 digs. On Saturday the 2nd, the volleyball team continued their FHU Labor Day Classic in a match against Northwestern Ohio, where they lost 1-3. Alonis Ruiz Rivera again led FHU with 10 kills, and Morgan Wilson led FHU in assists with 16. The women's soccer team had their second home match of the season, where they played Faulkner and they lost 0-3. Zoe so Stahm attempted 4 shots in the match, and senior goalie Brooke Latham tallied 5 saves in the match as well. The men's soccer team followed that game where they played Fisk at FHU and Rodrigo Tostado scored two goals on three shots and Sibana Tissemi scored two goals on two shots. Baba Mahalo scored the final goal for FHU in the win. Volleyball played against UT Southern in their last game of the FHU Labor Day Classic where they won 3-1. Alanis Ruiz Rivera again led FHU with 16 kills and Macy K. Adams also led FHU again with 21 assists in their game capping win. The men's and women's cross-country team traveled to Memphis where they ran in the Twilight Classic, where they ran after dark. The women's team finished 14 of 21 teams with Madison Grant, Megan Lambley, Zena Doris, Eliza Poe, and Zola Doris all placing for FHU. Madison Grant placed first for the women's team. The men's team finished 14 of 20 teams as well with Daniel Puckett, Bo Scott, Barrett Poe, Nathan Magram, and Blake Brown all placing for FHU while freshman Daniel Puckett finished first for the Lions. Now to Vincent Menino with the play of the week. We're here with Jason Elliott this week talking about Avery Fleener's hat trick. Okay, we, we're we looking at Avery Fleener's hat trick here. Uh, Malachi, if you see, um, if we go back there, we're playing on the right. We distribute the ball on the right back here. Malachi takes a good touch and plays Jay Smith on the wing. Now, to hold it there, Jay Smith is looking for Avery, who's running the channel between the center back the two center backs there and he just flicks the ball over the top at this point it's a pretty good ball he, he uh jay could have sent it a little bit wider but a great run from avery and at that point the keeper has to make a decision keeper comes out avery with his hustle wins the ball kind of shields it and slides it in for his first goal of his hat trick um so good play there all the way around. This is the second goal. The second goal here. Um, we play the ball to Rodrigo. Uh, Tabo plays the ball to Rodrigo, who's checking hard for the ball, which causes the defender to go with him. And as you see here, he just lays on a little touch to Avery's running through. And his hustle there, he gets hit, cuts the ball back, bends it into the far corner uh, for the second goal. But that was just really a great hustle, a great layoff from Rodrigo, kind of a deception run there. And um, Avery just did the rest from there. And then the third goal here, um, we're working the ball side to side. We play a keel at the right back. As you can see, Tabo's making a run through the middle, over the top, he's free. Chips the keeper, and as you can see there, he thought we all thought the ball was going in. Bounces up, hits the post. Uh, we got two players there hustling, and Avery just puts it in there for the hat trick. So overall, a great, 
all three goals were great hustle and great runs down the middle by multiple players. We had two or three different runners on it on all those goals. And now back to Rachel and Jackson with this week's player interview. Hi, I'm Rodrigo Tostado from Mexico, and I play soccer here in Brazil. So we're going to do a short little interview with Rodrigo about what he does before a game. So if you ever have any questions about game day rituals or anything, you can maybe come to him and see what happens. So what do you do before a game? Well, first of all, two hours before the game, I eat some candies, some kind of candies uh, to have energy while I'm playing. Then, I mean, I play some music, but it needs to be like, it's called dembo. It's like reggaeton. So that's, that makes me feel... I don't know, like more more happy with more energy. So, I mean, then after that, we come. Well, we walk to to the field. We warm up. We do some stuff with the ball, and just before the game, we pray as a team. And finally, before I step on the field, my first step needs to be like with my right foot. So, for good luck. So, I mean, yeah, that's what I do. So you're superstitious about the right foot. Yeah. Is there a reason behind it? Not at all, but I'll use it, you know. I understand, I understand. So candy and candy. music. Candy and music, always. Well, I've never done that before. Um, so you guys as a team, how do you all warm up? As a team, I mean, we make two lines and we run from one cone to the other cone. We do like some leg work. I don't know. It's very easy stuff, so it's not that hard. Do you feel that your music and your candy and your right foot, do they prepare you personally to win a game? I think so. It helps a lot to win. Okay. Can you show us some tricks? For sure. Thank you, Rodrigo, for answering some questions. Do you want to see some tricks? Okay. But we'll send it back to you guys. For our preview, uh, one line infection picks up again on Thursday the seventh with women's soccer um, at Harris Dole in uh, St. Louis, Missouri at one p.m. Uh, on Friday the eighth, volleyball plays Williams Baptist in Walnut Ridge at in Arkansas at six p.m. On Saturday the ninth, the JV softball team travels to Dyersburg to play in the Dyersburg State Tournament, while the men's soccer team plays at Brescia in Owensboro, Kentucky at two p.m. On the eleventh, the women's golf team. We'll travel to Jekyll Island, Georgia to play in the day one of Coastal Georgia Fall Invitational. Tuesday the 12th, the JV softball is at Cumberland's in Lebanon, Tennessee at 2 p.m. Uh, the women's golf also finished their day two of the Coastal Georgia Fall Invitational, and JV and varsity volleyball play at Bethel in McKenzie, Tennessee at 5 and 7 p.m. That's all we have for you this week on Inside the Pond. I'm Rachel. I'm Jackson. And we'll see you next time.